All right, good morning everyone. It is October the 23rd and uh, Wednesday, and our scripture for today is Luke chapter 6 and 7. Pray with me as we get started. Our God and King, we love you and thank you so much for your love for us, and we praise you for your salvation in the, our Lord Jesus Christ. So Father, today help us to honor and glorify you in all that we do in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, so here we are in chapter 6. As Jesus and his disciples travel through a grain field, they pluck and eat some grains of uh, heads of grain. The Pharisees considered this to be working on the Sabbath and could accuse them of breaking the law. Jesus tells them the Son of Man is Lord of the Sabbath. On another Sabbath, while he taught, there was a man with a withered hand present, and the scribes and Pharisees watched to see if he would heal him. Jesus asked the man to stand while he asked the Pharisees, is it lawful on the Sabbath to do good or to do evil, to save life or to destroy? He was pointing out their hypocrisy. They didn't respond, and when Jesus healed the man, they were filled with rage and discussed what they might do to Jesus. You see, the, the point there was that Jesus was there to save life, and they were plotting to take life. After an all-night prayer session, Jesus called the disciples together and chose the twelve as his apostles. Later on, a great multitude of people seek Jesus to hear him and to be healed of their diseases, and they were healed. He began to teach, saying, Blessed are the poor, for yours is the kingdom of God. He continues with the Beatitudes. He also pronounces woes to the self-sufficient and self-righteous. He says to love your enemies and do good to those who hate you. Bless those who curse you. And just as you want men to do to you, you also do to them likewise. He also says, judge not, condemn not, forgive and you will be forgiven. Give and it will be given to you. Uh, and for the, for the same measure that you use, it will be measured back to you in judgment, in condemnation, in forgiveness, and in your hospitality. Uh, he goes on to say, um, every tree is known by its own fruit. A good man brings forth good, and an evil man, out of the evil treasure of his heart, brings forth evil. Jesus finishes the sermon with the question, Why do you call me Lord, Lord, and not do the things which I say? Obedience is proof of his lordship over a person's life and leads to stability in that person's life. Chapter 7. In Capernaum, Jesus heals the centurion's servant and said of him, I have not found such great faith, not even in Israel. He resurrects a widow's son as the funeral procession comes out of the city of Nain, and fear came upon all, and they glorified God, saying, A great prophet has risen up among us, and God has visited his people. John the Baptist sends some of his followers to ask Jesus, Are you the coming one, or do we look for another? He answered, Go and tell John the things that you have seen and heard, that the blind see, the lame walk, the lepers are cleansed, the deaf hear, the dead are raised, the poor have the gospel preached to them, and blessed is he who is not offended because of me, or who believe and receive him as the Messiah. Jesus identifies John as his messenger before the people, and he reemphasizes John's message of repentance, saying, Wisdom is justified by all her children. At a Pharisee named Simon's house, a sinful woman anointed Jesus with a fragrant oil. He was offended that she allowed Jesus, Jesus allowed her to touch him. Jesus points out Simon's unwillingness to humble himself and, there, and provide even a common courtesy to Jesus, and the woman's humility in providing that, that courtesy and service. He said to him, Therefore I say to you, her sins, which are many, are forgiven, for she loved much. But to whom little is forgiven, the same loves little. Then he said to the woman, Your sins are forgiven. Your faith has saved you. Go in peace. Now our thought for today. We cannot separate the awareness of our sin from our love for God. The more clearly we understand how much God has forgiven us, the greater our love for God will be. God bless you. Have a great day.